Hello friends, this video on reproduction in animals part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us talk about the types of reproduction. What are the various ways by which organisms can reproduce? Now reproduction is mainly of two types, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So asexual reproduction is that type of reproduction where no sex is involved. Now when I say no sex is involved, that means there is no concept of male, female. So for reproduction, you do not need one male and one female. You just need one organism and that organism can give birth to new organisms. It is a very simple concept. In asexual reproduction, you do not need two organisms at all. You do not need any sexual intercourse between two organisms. There is no concept of a male or a female organism. You just have one organism which is independent of any gender and that organism can give birth to new organisms. So we can also say that in this case, only one parent is involved. So here you just have one parent. You do not need one father and one mother. So that one father and mother, they are basically a male and a female. So in asexual reproduction, you don't need all that. So this type of reproduction is mostly seen in uh, simpler organisms. For example, amoeba is one such example where you see amoeba is a unicellular protozoa and here you see asexual mode of reproduction. So there is no female or male amoeba and it can just split to form new organisms. So that is asexual reproduction. The second one is sexual reproduction where sex is involved. So here you have two parents. You have one male. You need, you actually need one male and one female. And only when these two fuse together, you get a new organism. So the best example would be human beings. In human beings, you need a father and you need a mother. So you need a father, you need a mother. So a mother is nothing but a female, father is nothing but a male and both of their cooperation is required. Only then kids will be born and that is why kids have similarities both to, to, similarities to both of their parents. Now some might have more similarities to father, some might have more similarities to mother, that is fine. But there are possibilities that they will have similarities from both the parents. So here two parents will be involved. So let us quickly understand both of them. So asexual reproduction, as I said, single parent is needed to produce the new organism. So here there is no sex differentiation of male and female. And the new organisms which are produced, they are mostly referred as the daughter organisms. The term daughter is used for the new organisms which are formed. And these daughters are exactly identical to their parents. So that is another important thing about asexual reproduction. That here the new organisms will be exactly same as the parents. So no sex is involved. And here the daughter is going to be exactly identical to parents. Now, asexual reproduction is the primitive mode of reproduction. That means it came before the sexual reproduction. So it was an early, it, it was more ancient. And in asexual reproduction, you do not have any scope of variation. So here in asexual reproduction, there is no variation because variation happens only when the daughter organism has some characters or some traits which are new, which are different from the parent. But in this case, the daughter is exactly identical to the parent. So there is no scope of any variation. This is more common in lower plants and animals. Now some examples of uh, organisms where you can find asexual reproduction is amoeba, euglena, you talk about the bacteria, hydra, so these are some examples of lower plants and animals, even tame forms. In fact, many plants also undergo uh, asexual reproduction like onion, potato, uh, rose. So all these organisms undergo asexual reproduction. Next is sexual reproduction. So here two parents are involved. So you just cannot produce new organisms with one parent. So you need two parents.
Here fusion between male and female gametes give rise to new organism. So here you get a new term. What is gamete? Gamete is nothing but a sex cell. So by now we all know what is a cell. Now there are specialized cells called sex cells which help specifically during reproduction. So what happens in sexual reproduction is you have one male, you have one female. So the male will release a male sex cell or a male gamete the female will contribute a female sex cell or a female gamete and then the male and the female gamete will fuse together to form a new cell and that new cell will gradually grow undergo uh, repeated cell divisions and that's how it will give rise to the new organism so that, that's how it is. Male will contribute a male sex cell. Female will contribute a female sex cell. Both of these sex cells will fuse together. They will form one new cell. And this new cell will undergo repeated division. It will form multicellular structure. And over a period of time, it will become a new organism altogether. So in case of sexual reproduction, there is very clear distinction between male and female sexes. Now here, the daughter cells are not exactly identical to the parents. So here variations exist. So here sex is involved, that means there is sexual intercourse between male and female. Only then fusion between the male and female gametes will be possible. So in this case, variations exist. That means some new traits will be seen here. Now, here the daughter will be genetically different from the parents. Some traits will be similar to parents. Some traits might be similar to father. Some might be similar to mother. But there will be some traits which will be new as well. That is why they are not exactly identical. He, this mode of reproduction is comparatively slower mode. It is a slower mode compared to asexual reproduction. So in asexual reproduction, the process happens very fast, but here it takes its own time. So it is a slower mode of reproduction. Sexual reproduction is generally seen in higher animals. For example, the various animals which we see around us mostly reproduce sexually. For example, uh, the cows, buffaloes, cats, dogs, elephants, human beings. So they all reproduce sexually. So it is more common in multicellular animals and asexual reproduction is most co more common in lower plants and animals, mostly unicellular animals. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.